Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I got a new Ulta haul in. I'm not going to show y'all a haul but I am going to slowly start going through these new palettes and the first one I'm going to show y'all is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. You open it up. It's got your two-sided brush and 14, is that 14? Magical Colors. That is 14. They're super pretty. This is the newest sister palette to the Modern Renaissance. And it is absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> so what I want to do today is just run through a quick tutorial with it and give you my thoughts and see how I think it compares to the formula of the Modern Renaissance and if it's as easy to blend, which I've heard it is. And I'm so excited. So I've already got everything else done except for my eyes and my lips. And we are just going to go ahead and go in and for the like first time ever I'm going to try to use this actual double ended brush that comes with it and I'm going to go into uh, 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 Dusty Rose first right here with the fluffy end of this brush <sighs> peel it off the plastic and just tap that all into the crease. Okay, so I don't like this brush. I knew better. Just to show you, this has a little bit of fallout. It's not nearly as bad as Subculture was, but it is a little bit worse than Modern Renaissance. We're going to try it with a Morphe brush that I know I love and see how we can get it to blend out with a regular crease brush. That is a lot better than that other brush. So I'm just going to do the other eye real quick. Okay, so after this color, I am going to go into Mulberry right here. This is our kind of reddish, almost a cranberry kind of vibe with the same brush and just pat that into the crease a little lower down. Okay, so these two colors blended together literally so good. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the crease alone. I don't want to get too smoky today. I'm just going to do those two colors and then, oh, it's so hard to pick because they're all so pretty. Okay, I want to go into Sultry right here and I'll lay this down all over the lid. I'm just going to do that with oh, my finger and goodness, it feels so creamy and amazing. And I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Okay, so that color is literally so pigmented and so cute. I can't. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Mulberry, our red, and just put that on my lower lash line. Okay, and then now that that's there, I'm just going to blend it out with that dusty rose, just so it's not too harsh on my lower lash line. Okay, then the last step for these eyes is going to be to take a little bit of glistening right here, which is also super gorgeous, and just put that in the inner corner. Okay, so that is it for these eyes. Let me finish up, and then I'll be right back to talk to y'all. Okay, guys, so I am back. The look is done. The lashes are a little, a little wonky. I can get them to stick right, but I think I actually got them on like in the right place for once. And um, I just wanted to tell y'all that I used the lipstick Beeper by ColourPop that I've actually never tried before. And I know it's like a staple that everybody likes. So I finally got it in and decided to try it out. And I like it. It's pretty cute. 
But as for my thoughts on this palette, it is definitely very blendable, very pigmented. Fallout's not, it's not terrible. I mean, there is fallout, but that's not a bad thing. Like, it's not insane like Subculture was. So definitely not bad at all. Overall, I have to say, this is definitely a very good palette, and I'm very, very glad that I went ahead and ordered it, because I almost didn't, but I have all the other Anastasia palettes, and I was like, oh, I can't leave that one alone. I have to, I have to have it, too, and put it in its family, so I went ahead and got it, and I really like it. So that is that. Here is a close-up of the look. I did not go for winged liner today just wasn't feeling it this look got a little darker than i intended but it is so cute so i'm totally okay with that um i hope you all enjoyed this video and i will see you in a couple of days bye you guys